Jones looking to open up with a four-bagger here in the championship match. Mm. Ah, really wasn't worried about that one. Yeah, as hard as that ball's going through the pins, you, you'd have thought that the vortex would have sucked the 10-pin right off the deck, but it's a lot of power and a lot of velocity going through the pins. Good use of the term vortex, by the way. I try to get that into every telecast. That's impressive. Thank you. So Pete Weber and Tommy Jones here in our finals. 116 TV finals for Pete Weber. So, something tells me that Tommy Jones is going to probably get to that number uh, in the not-so-distant future. Jones has got a beat on his 12th tour title and second of the season. And... The lead at 34, up now Pete Weber. Now if the pins could talk right before Tommy Jones' ball hits the pins, I'll tell you what they'd say. Bounce back strike for Weber. They really plowed them. With all that power going through the pins, you know what they'd say if they could talk? Don't tase me, bro! You've been saying that since like 10 a.m. out here. I just can't get it out of my head. <laughs> well, Pete Weber has been bowling like money all week, but kind of like loose change here in the finals. Open frames in the third and the fourth, but he started with opening strikes and has one here in the fifth. Looking for one in the sixth. There you go. I don't think that's going to go on the DVD instructional how to All strike, right, then. but a strike is a strike. Ebonite digit tracks numbers. You see where the players are at the arrows, and the break point is down the lane at about 35 to 40 feet. Similar lines, but a lot more speed with Mr. Jones and a lot more power. And again, the 10-pin escapes for now. And PDW has got to be sitting back on the bench going, you know what, I like what I'm seeing. Because as Tommy continues to leave ringing 10s, that gives Weber a chance to get back in the match. Again, Weber with open frames in the third and the fourth. Since then, nothing but strikes. <clears throat> a win today for Tommy Jones, and he would become the... 30th athlete in Denny's PBA Tour history to have won 12 or more titles. And also, the only bowler to have won at least two titles in each of the last four seasons. You've been waiting for a messenger to do some work all day. Well, you know how the messenger works. The headpin goes to the sidewall, and it takes the 10 out, and the 10 goes down like a... Well, it just goes down. Right. Let's leave it at that. Weber with strikes in the 5th and the 6th, up now in the 7th. Again, looked like the balance was off a little bit. Oh, man. Oh, damn it. You know, this is the first... Good and it just... Not good. The first time that Pete's ever made a telecast on the cheetah pattern. He said he's won a couple of regionals on the pattern, but first time on the big tour. Thing 100 miles an hour, too. Of making the show, and, and I don't think Pete is real comfortable throwing it that fast. He's done it all week. He bowled great all week. He led this tournament all week. And right now, he just doesn't look comfortable throwing it at that speed. Down 25. It's time to seven. And yep. Up next for Pete Weber and the rest of the PBA Tours, the U.S. Open next week in New Jersey. And 
He was very open and honest with us yesterday with his love affair of the U.S. Open. It's the, the only true test we have in bowling. That's the, the one tournament I like because the best bowler wins. And that's no offense to all the other tournaments, but when you have, what are we talking, a 492 bowler field next week, rolling practice is going on tomorrow, I believe. Monday, yep. Some pro-ams, and then rolling Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Cuts finally happen. Really looking forward to getting to Jersey next week and seeing the U.S. Open. Jones maybe heading to Jersey on quite a roll. No pun intended. Another strike. Right now, Tommy Jones' only focus is winning the 2008 Geico Classic. And he's in very good position, up 36 right now. Tommy Jones is in the 220s already. The best Pete Weber can shoot 213. Tommy Jones needs to keep it on the lane and fill frames, and he will win for the 12th time in his career. Three in a row. That pretty much seals the deal with any kind of pin count in an open frame. Tommy Jones will be in the 220s. Weber with a bounce back in. ball. No. Got to be a stupid and play where you played all week. Just got to play in what's out there. Man, that makes it official. Jones, your winner of the Geico Classic, his second of the season and 12th of his career. Weber takes care of the spare. And we'll roll his last ball here. What a performance by Tommy Jones. Came into this title match averaging 268 and a half. He can strike out now for 259. That's pretty tough to beat. I don't care who you are. His eighth strike of the final. And a ham bone to boot. His fifth ham bone of the day. Unreal bowling from Jones this afternoon. Why not? Why not? Nine strikes. Jones dropped ten strikes on Walter Ray Williams Jr. in match number two, trying to match it right now versus Pete Weber. No dice, but nine enough. Two fifty-seven, one ninety-one. Say daddy some candy. Tommy Jones with tour title number 12. 